Well, I've been on the one show three times and I do not recognize this place. That's because this is their brand new studio. Isn't it dope? And welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones and, of course, Carly and Will I Am. Yes. Well, you've seen the outside. Welcome to the inside of the pair of you. what you've done with the pl- Oh, <laughs> Isn't it nice, though? We did a bit of a spruce up. Yeah, yeah we did. A bit of a spruce up. But I like how you have, like, half of the letters inside and the other half outside. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty, like, dimensional and stuff. Is there enough it's technology nice. in here for you, Will? Um, well, the table should be touch... To, well, you table? don't know what they I should, I should be able Listen, to these touch. towers can do all sorts. You might find out. You're as a probably setting something off right now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are delighted, Kylie, that you are joining Will as a coach on The Voice, which starts on Saturday. Yeah. And we hear, Will, that you had a little hand in persuading Kylie to yeah. come into the show. Is so that right? a, a friend of mine let me know that Kylie was having a meeting at a restaurant at 10 a.m. Mm. Right. So if I would have just went at 10 a.m. I would have been late and I would have showed up at 12. Mm-hmm. So I had to force myself to wake up at 7 so I could be there at 10. Is that hard for you? 7 a.m. alarm? So that means I didn't sleep the night before. Right, okay. <laughs> it means he was committed. Yes. Mm. That's good. And, yeah, I didn't know he was going to be there. I was just having this meeting. They were, you know, telling me all about it. And, um, and honestly... The fact that Will was there and I was able to ask him yeah. the burning like? question, which was, what is it like? Yeah. I don't need to hear any more stats and figures. I just want to know what it's like. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and here we are. And, and here, here you are. are. This is it. Yeah, and I'm very thankful. Good call. Really, I was... Thank you for, for being on it. Because it was, I was... It was hard for me to make a decision if I was going to come back for season three. Well, was this it? is the thing. I mean, we'll talk about this later on, but obviously mm. Jesse left, Danny left, and, you know, we were all wondering if you were going to go as well. It was, a, it was a part of... I was torn. Yeah. You know, like, okay, we did two seasons. Jesse and Danny are not coming back. What do I do with my time? Mm. And when I when they said, um, I was like, who who do you who are you guys suggest, you know thinking about replacing Jesse and Danny? And so when they mentioned Kylie, I was like, okay, well, if you get Kylie, whoa, mm. yes, we all thought that. To be me, honest right? with you, I was like. They're never going to get Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> we all thought that too. Yeah. You say, hey, if you get Kylie, I'll do it. So that was my you... way out, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're well, really <laughs> pleased that you're back, Will. It's, it's going to be great viewing on Saturday. Really yeah. Now, uh, today was the day that most of us went back to work. It's also the day that most people think about starting a new career. As we've heard, Kylie has started hers. Prince William is going back to class to start his farming. Yes, he wants to be Matt Baker. Yeah. Anyway, we <laughs> thought we'd ask you at home, if you could go back to college to start over, what would you study yeah, and what why? Would you study? What would you do? <laughs> we'll ask you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to do... Thanks, Joe, and to the good people of Chiswick. Now, we were just saying there, if you were going back to school, science would be the thing for you, because you've spent some time, haven't you, with the, the Hadron Collider? Well, I'm taking a... I just took a, a course at MIT. I just got... Um, What's MIT? Um, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Okay. So uh, I go there. So that's a the university then? Yeah, take yeah. Computers, uh, I'm taking computer science. Right. So luckily I get to travel and take my course oh. on my laptop. Oh, okay. Perfect. So it's like an open university Oh, that's, kind that's of thing. when I went to CERN, um, so, CERN Laboratory in, in uh, Switzerland. Yeah, what was it like then? Well, right there behind me is like a big, huge building. So it may look small, but that's a huge building underground, like, mm-hmm. you know, a million feet underground. I'm over exaggerating, but it's real deep. So I, I went there just to just to get my, you know, to sponge up the knowledge of those wizards there making you yeah. know, antimatter. Like, did you leave there with that. any physics questions in your mind answered? Um, that might be a, bit of a long answer. That one actually, we better leave that. So <laughs> some kids that some kids that 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 attend the school that I opened in uh, Boyle Heights. So I have this program called I Am Angel, where we teach kids in inner cities. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's an after school yeah. program to get them geared up for tomorrow. So not we don't want kids just to go to college that come from the hood. We want them yeah. to go to college and then create jobs. The last thing you want to do is take a kid from the hood, send them to college, they graduate, there's no jobs, they're just sitting on debt. Absolutely. So what we do at our kids at school at I Am Angel, 
partnered up with Lorraine Jobs College Track is to get kids on the right track to go to college through this program called College Track and then, you know, infuse science, technology, engineering, and mathematics uh, skills within that whole course. So when they graduate, there'll be more tuned to become entrepreneurs and create jobs. Yeah. So I went to certain laboratory with questions yeah, yeah, yeah. from the kids right. on, you know, you know, how long is it going to take to find, you know, what to do with the um, the God particle, the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. Like, so they answered that question and I told the kids. Kylie, They're if you really were on the mental. college track, what would you do? Um, Wish I had something as cool as that to say. <laughs> no pressure. I would. I'm, I'm all over physics. Really I would probably art history, English lit, and graphics, graphic design. Yeah. Ooh. That, oh, that's that would be where I would go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Art. Now, among those who. Oh, amazing people. Thank you, Lucy, so much for that. Well, The Voice is back, as we said, on Saturday, 7 o'clock on BBC One. Two big new changes, new presenters and two new coaches in the form of yourself and Ricky from the Kaiser Chiefs, which is brilliant. But what we love, we were saying earlier, isn't it, is when you as coaches come together to do a number. That is brilliant. So you've done one, Kylie, you were we, saying. We did one performance all together and it was amazing. Highlight for me is Tom Jones. Hearing Tom Jones sing... Have, has he been in here? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. yes. Did he sing anything? Oh, yes. He's been on. It, it's a wall of sound and it's just it's yeah. phenomenal. It's yeah. interesting you should say that because well, we'll have a look at this because you just gravitate towards him and the pair of you are rocking out at once. <laughs> here we go. Let's have a watch. Everybody at home didn't get to hear that. Uh, Ricky, I mean, he must have had tickets on himself. Sorry, that's a very Australian thing. He must have had tickets, like, feeling pretty good about yourself. Oh, right, yeah, okay. To hear Tom Jones. Very <laughs> handsome as well, Ricky. He is Just dashing. By the way. quite a revelation. <laughs> and obviously, I mean, Kylie must be brilliant to perform with Will. I mean, what, what is it like to be up on stage with that? <laughs> oh, so I've been a fan of, um, of Kylie for, for uh, a very long time, so... Yeah. To be sitting next to her, looking, because for me to see the other coaches, I have to pass through Kylie first. Yeah. So it's a great, <laughs> I have a great view. Um, and to perform with her on stage is just a thrill, yeah. you know. Yeah. So what will you bring then, Kylie? Because as well as 27 years experience, which is amazing, what do you think your role will be as part of the four coaches on The Voice? The boss. Yeah, yeah, the boss. I'm ready, I'm ready, the boss. Yes, I stamp my size, size three stilettos. Um, oh, I don't know. My, I, you can only be yourself, and I think I'm, I'm naturally a bit of a softie, and yeah. you know. But you need a bit of softness on the show, though. But what we loved, we saw a picture of the four of you in situ. Here it is. Can we see it? Here we, we are. are. And we spotted you had your handbag. With you. Yeah, I took my handbag on. No. A girl never knows what she might need. No. <laughs> and Kylie, the wonderful thing is, I mean, obviously talking to you when you arrived in this, that you're really, you're really into it, th this whole voice concept. Is it the yeah. fact that, you know, you've got so much expertise now and, and you kind of just want to pass that on to others because Will is doing that and you continue to coach, don't you, even the contestant that you had last year. Is, yeah, is that what well, it is Will, for you, It's really Kylie? inspiring that with um, Will's dedication to... Um, to his acts and yeah. to, to Leah, who's with you. Um, I what, 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 what? Hang on, I'm thinking about Will. What was the question to me? No, just about <laughs> is, it, is it that opportunity? Of oh, okay, sorry. All of your expertise. Yeah, to... um, you know what it is. It's it's like a little thrill when you say something that was just a a, a moment in time for you that you earned because yeah. you had the experience to 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 get that in your system and yeah, you can pass sure. it on. It's really cool. Yeah. And let's talk about Leah then, Will, because she was phenomenal last year. You must have been really disappointed that she didn't win it in the end. But w what's her year been like? What have you been doing together? Well, in my eyes, Leah won. You know, you, you, you live the reality you put <laughs> in front of you. You know, so the reality for me is that Leah is the winner. Andrea was great, but Leah yeah. to me was is the winner. And... And uh, she, we've been working together. We finished her record about two weeks ago, officially. Great. And when's that out? Um, soon, Timber. 
Brilliant. Well, we look forward to see what unfolds, don't we, through this yeah. series. The Voice starts this Saturday at 7 o'clock on BBC One. Can't wait. And what would you be saying with this? Not well, I'm not saying anything, except no. isn't it interesting how down the decades the memory lingers on and sort of intriguing tunes seem to come back at us. And there is actually a word for this. It's Go a on. phenomenon. And the word is cryptomnesia. Cryptomnesia is literally hidden memories. And it turns out that we can hear things, see things at some time in our lives, and then we reproduce them when we think we're creating something original. Yes. Chefs do that too with food. So you could take a pizza, right? And you can fold it, then you got a calzone. Right. You feel what I'm saying? True. I hear what you're saying. Well, and yeah. I've also seen what you're doing because we've tried a test out on these two, on Kylie and Will. In the 1990s, a guy called Richard Marsh from the University of Georgia experimented with cryptonesia. And he showed people pictures of aliens. And then he invited them to draw a picture of an alien without reference to the pictures they'd already seen. We have conducted this experiment <laughs> okay. with our two oh, artists okay. here. That's this why is, you couldn't show me a picture of an This alien. is Will's alien. <laughs> That's very good. And you see, but like every alien, he's given it <laughs> antennae. Those aren't antennas. Uh, that's what you said. <laughs> no, no, no. But they're very like the antennas in everybody else's picture no, of an alien. No, no. There's a reason why I have antennas on mine. These huh. hang them from the ceiling. Because he, he wants to hang from the ceiling. You feel what I'm saying? So these yeah. are just strings. You know what I'm saying? Those ain't antennas. If you get your phone right, your phone I'll tell you what, no let's have a look at Kylie very quickly. Like Kylie. No, no, we're no, a live show. Oh, oh, we're running oh, oh, out of time. The reason I say that, because if, if you take your phone, right, Phones don't have antennas anymore, right? So we highly intelligent. So, so you put if an alien in. is highly intelligent, so you it would not need no antennas. Speaking of high intelligence, right. this. this is Kylie's <laughs> alien. It's lovely. It's a lovely alien. It's the it's best alien. Perfect. I think she is a crypto amnesiac. There we are. Thank you both ever so much indeed for your artistic impression. Yeah, well, thanks, Giles. Thanks, as well. Nice to see you. Got another CD for you. We'll give you that later. Anyway, now, as we found out over the last few weeks, moving home is a big deal. I think oh. we're going to get a duet as well. Can yeah, we? maybe. Uh, well, throughout... Thanks, Tony. Thank yeah. you. Now, as we've entered 2014, all week we are celebrating with some very special performances using the number 14. Today's 14 consists of 12 of the best London taiko drummers in the country and two superstars in the form of Will and Kylie. Yes, they're going to play us out. We'll see you tomorrow yeah. with Griff Rees-Jones. Bye. Bye. Get the